Hello, dear students. Today we are going to discuss about the lesson number three, and the name of this lesson is "Eat Right, Stay Healthy." First of all, we have to know about that why we should eat right. It indicates that if we eat in the right way, then we can stay healthy. Otherwise, we will suffer from different types of diseases. Food is important because it gives us energy to carry out different tasks every day. It is important that we eat the right kind of foods. We should eat vegetables and fruits and avoid eating junk food and sweets. While this might be hard to do, it will help us keep our body strong and healthy. We must also exercise regularly and get enough rest each day. In addition, it is important to keep our house and surroundings clean. All these factors help us live a healthy life. Now, balance the different foods items gives us different types of nutrients carbohydrates proteins fats minerals vitamins water and rubbish are the different nutrients that the body requires a diet that contains all these nutrients in the right quantities is called balanced diet carbohydrates are the most important source of energy and form a major part of our diet we get energy from carbohydrates cereals sugar and potatoes are important sources of carbohydrates proteins are necessary for the growth of new cells and tissues in our body pulses nuts milk eggs fish meat and soybeans are protein rich foods fats gives us more energy than carbohydrates they also help in building new cells in the body. Fats can be stored by the body to give us energy when we need it. Wells, ghee, and water are rich in fats. Minerals are needed in small quantities for proper growth and to protect the body from diseases. Calcium, iron, iodine, potassium, fluoride, sodium, and phosphorus are some important minerals. Fresh vegetables and fruits, greens, whole grains, cereals, nuts, and celery are rich in minerals. Vitamins keep us healthy and help the body fight various diseases causing shocks. Fresh fruits and vegetables, milk, eggs, and so on are rich in vitamins. Rubbish is fiber, fountain fruits, vegetables and cereals. It is not digested by the body. It helps to move food through the digestive system and get right of waste minerals. Water is important for proper functioning of the body. It helps in digestion and the supply of nutrients to all parts of the body. It is also helps in getting right of waste from the body. We should drink 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. Food must be cooked with care so that it does not lose its nutrients value. Some vegetables can be cleaned and eaten raw. This is much better than frying them. Now, <clears throat> regular exercise and proper sleep. It also helps us to keep our body healthy. We must exercise regularly in order to build a strong body. Exercise keeps muscles strong and toned. When you exercise, we hurt palms sorry the heart pumps blood faster to help all the muscles work well the lungs work faster pumping in more air as a result 
more oxygen is pumped in and more carbon dioxide is pumped out of the body. This means that more oxygen reaches all important organs like the brain. Exercise also helps us maintain the correct posture and improves flexibility. Posture is the position in which we hold our body and limbs while sitting, standing or lying down. Choose to be more active every day. Go outdoors and play games as often as you can. When we sleep or take a nap, we allow our body to relax and rest. When we do not have enough sleep, we feel tired and cannot think clearly. Adequate sleep will help our bodies function more efficiently while we sleep our body also grows and repairs the muscles and tissues so now we are going to discuss about diseases a disease is a condition in which the body doesn't function normally you feel tired and cannot do any work or play diseases can be classified into communicable and non-communicable diseases so what is called communicable disease and non-communicable disease non-communicable diseases are those which do not spread from one person to another such diseases occur when certain organs in the body stop functioning properly diabetes heart disease and high blood pressure are some of examples so deficiency diseases are also non-communicable now we are going to discuss about that what uh, deficiency diseases so deficiency diseases are caused when we eat food that lacks essential nutrients that the body needs. The deficient nutrients can be carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins or minerals. Deficiency diseases that are not at a very severe stage can easily be treated by providing the nutrients that are missing in the diet. This is caused by the deficiency of some vitamins and minerals are listed in the table. You can see the table that given below. First of all, nutrients that is lacking, diseases, disorders and symptoms, then recommended foods. So number one is vitamin A. So what kind of disease that can we can see so night blindness then disorder and symptoms are difficulty in seeing properly in dim light dry eyes and dry skin recommended foods are that means how can we cure from these types of diseases carrot tomato mango pumpkin papaya green milk butter eggs fish and liver vitamin d what kind of diseases that can we suffer very very then disorders and symptoms are problems of the muscles heart and nervous system then recommended foods are milk dark green vegetables peas nuts eggs meat and cereals now vitamin C scurvy this is name is scurvy then the disorders and symptoms are bleeding gums and weight loss pain in joint and muscles recommended foods are orange guava kasperi 
It means amla, lemon, grapes, and green leafy vegetables. Then the next one is vitamin D. The disease name is rickets. Weak and soft bones that break easily or bend easily. Then the next is recommended foods are fish, liver well, vegetables well, milks, eggs, liver and exposure to sunlight. Then the nutrient status lacking is iodine. The name of disease is goiter. Disorders and symptoms are swelling of a gland in the neck, dullness, weight gain, mental problems and the recommended foods are iodized salt, seaweed, seafood, dairy foods, vegetables. Then the last one is iron. The name of the disease is anemia. Disorders and symptoms are paleness, weakness, tiredness. Then the recommended foods are green vegetables, zagiri, grains, pulses, eggs, and liver. Communicable diseases. So, which diseases are called communicable diseases? The diseases that are transferred from one person to another person is called communicable diseases. These are infectious diseases and can pass from one person to another person. They are caused by germs or microbes such as bacteria, virus, fungi and protozoans. These are tiny organisms that can only be seen under the microscope. These germs spread in the flowing ways. I think today is enough and later I will discuss older ways that how can communicable diseases are transferred from one person to another person. So let it finish. See you. Let it finish. See you in the next class.